Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. A hey. so I wanted to share with you guys why I actually wanted to get a house. Um, why we bought a house. So two years ago, the Lord um, spoke to me and my husband. First, I prayed about it. I said, God, you know, I want a house one day, and you know, there's apartment situations. It's just, it's just. I'm done with it already and the rent is going up so high but anyways I really wanted a house ever since I was a little girl so I remember praying about it and one day in prayer in a prayer call um, the pastor had a word for me and my husband and God said that whatever house we wanted he was gonna give us and I was so excited. This is like, I think two years ago or a year a year ago. So we have been trying to find a house for a year and a half, two years. So we, yeah, it was two years ago. So that means we've been trying for like a year and a half. So I remember the first realtor I had, she was okay, but it just didn't work out. So I prayed ask God to give us a realtor that really cares that has a big heart that doesn't care about the money but cares about helping others and that's when we met Ray which I'm put his contact information in the bottom here and I'll put his picture he's amazing he is God sent he's amazing he was so patient with us he helped us to find the perfect house that we wanted and this house I freaking love this house me and Edwin love this house. So, and it's in an area where we wanted to stay. And I said, God, I want Whitehall. I want to stay here. So he allowed us to stay here in the neighborhood that we wanted. And the school district that we wanted. Because Maya has a good, you know, environment here and stuff. And I love that. So as we were looking, there was times where we wanted to give up. There was times where we were going to go for a rental. But something in my heart, I knew God wanted me, no, you're not going to get a rental. I promised you a house. Stand on my promise. So I kept looking for houses, and my husband was coming against it. He's like, no, get a rental, get a rental. And I'm like, no, no. I kept feeling this strong, strong feeling in my heart. Like God was like, no, don't give up. Look for a house. I have a house for you. So I kept looking, I kept looking. I came across this house, and I'm like, wow. Let me check it out so I came here and we checked it out and the moment we stepped into this house we knew this was our house I was like I love this house and Edwin was like me too and we made an offer right away outside I remember and so we made it made our offer it was strong um, there was one more offer before us but it wasn't strong enough and we got we got accepted i knew it was god so all glory and honor goes to him but he is amazing and i just thank him for blessing us with this house it was something that was in my heart for so long as a little girl i wanted a family i wanted a house you know i wanted to build something with someone and god brought me my amazing husband and my beautiful daughter and now we have a home and we are so blessed and so excited for this journey. And this is our home. And I blessed it. When I came in, I blessed it. I prayed over it. And God is here. Sorry, guys. I'm tired and I'm going to work soon. So I want to share this testimony with you guys. And encourage you guys, whoever is looking for a house, whoever is pursuing that or even thinking about it, pray about it first and God will answer you and I'm telling you that if you allow God to lead your path and to lead your process it's going to go smoothly God is going to open doors and things are going to happen quickly because ours did it, it just all fell into place um it's a lot of paperwork I'm gonna let you know right now it's a lot of paperwork it's a lot of repetitive repetitiveness repetitive list I don't even know how to say it repetitive stuff that they're going to ask for but as soon as you sign those papers and they give you the key 
you're going to feel so happy and you're going to come into your home and you're going to be like, this is my house. So I wanted to just share that with you guys and encourage you guys to not give up, to trust God, whatever you've been asking God for, know that he is going to answer it if it's in his, his will for you. If it aligns to his word and his will for you, then he'll make it happen. But you have to trust him in the process. Don't give up. Don't lose hope. Keep the faith. Keep going. And you're going to see things. It says in the word of God that seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and the rest shall be added. So seek him first. Seek a relationship with him first. I did. And when I was seeking him first and he was everything to me, he still is. That's when God started bringing me my husband, my baby, and now my house. All these things were added on. But what's more important to me is my relationship with God. Because I wouldn't have any of this if it wasn't for him. And even if I didn't have all this, it didn't really matter because I have him. So I just want to encourage you guys to just keep believing and giving it to God. Reminds me of that song, Secular Song, because I don't listen to secular songs like that, but I like oldies. It says, don't stop believing. Don't stop believing. Like, keep believing God for what he had promised you, and you'll see it come to pass. So anyways, I just wanted to share with you guys why we decided to get a house, because God promised us that. And I've always wanted a house, and... I know deep down inside my husband wanted one too. But but anyways, God bless you guys. And I hope you guys enjoy this small video of me sitting and talking to you and, and telling you guys why we decided to buy a house and how the process went. Um, it went smooth. I'm not going to lie to you. It was all God. He was opening these doors and it was the perfect time for us. Um, there's other good news that we got that I'm so happy. God is so faithful. He always tells me where there is a promise, there is provision. So, um, yeah, I'm excited. So, God bless you guys. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not, not, lean, lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. God bless you guys. Stay blessed. Bye.